And it goes to a man whose accomplishments are immense, his legacy enduring. This is the story of the Pride of Britain's lifetime achiever. We'll never forget what you've done for our family. You've given me another chance to live. Because of you, every day seems like a gift. You gave us something so precious, our son's life back. So Magda Jakob has performed more heart transplants than anyone else in the world. And his work has saved tens of thousands of lives across the globe. Egyptian born, he came to the UK in 1962 and started work at Harefield Hospital, which under his leadership became the world's foremost heart transplant center. Well, I think there's nobody who works as hard as, as Magda Jakob. I, I have not seen that, certainly not in our field. When it comes to heart transplants, so Magdi holds all the records. The UK's first, the longest surviving and the youngest ever. And he's been responsible for pioneering groundbreaking techniques in this vital field of medicine. It's no wonder he's known as the King of Hearts. Magdi believes very strongly that everybody should have the right to healthcare. And he tries to provide that. Obviously he cannot solve every problem in the world, but he tries hard. In 1995, he set up the Chain of Hope, a charity which has saved the lives of hundreds of children with heart defects in the developing world. If the children did not get in contact with the Chain of Hope, they would simply not survive. And it, it is as sad as that. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Despite retiring from the NHS, he refused to stop working. Now 71, his research at the Sir Magdi Jakob Institute will mean many more lives are saved in the future. And I doubt if there's anybody in the world, or very few, that have achieved as much in a lifetime as he has. Ladies and gentlemen, before we meet Sir Magdi, please welcome a man who knows all about affairs of the heart, Mr Paul O'Grady. I'm in pieces. Oh, I've gone through two toilet rolls tonight watching this show. <laughs> the hell? I haven't cried so much since Laura Engels went blind in Little House of the Prairie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, as you know, I've had two heart attacks. I died the first time in the ambulance, and thanks to the paramedics, I was revived. And thanks to the skill of my cardiologist and the staff of St Thomas's Hospital in London and the staff of uh, the William Harvey in Ashford, I'm here today to tell the tale. Um, no, really. No, no. <laughs> and this man is, is what, he's, what he's done and what he's achieved and the lives he's saved. I'm really humbled to be able to present him with this award. Well, shall we meet him? Yes, please. Let's bring him up, please, Sir Magdi Yacoub, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. There is nothing, I mean nothing, more enjoyable or pleasing than seeing a very, very sick person get better or come to life. I really don't deserve this, but I am happy to have it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 20 years ago, Sir Magni, you operated on Vinnie Jones's wife, Tanya, when she was a young girl, and here are the two of them with a message for you. Hello, Carol and everybody at the Pride of Britain Awards. We're sorry we can't be with you tonight, but we're stuck out here in Hollywood. <laughs> working. Congratulations, Mr Yacoub, on your Lifetime Achievement Award. You deserve it over and over. Um, I would just like to thank you for almost 21 years um, you have given me the chance to be a mummy to Kaylee, a wife, and live the most extraordinary life. Thank you over and over again. You deserve everything. Well, Tanya is just 
one of an incredible 20,000 people Sir Magda Yacoub has operated on. Now, we couldn't get all of them here on the stage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but we have rounded up as many as we possibly could, so please welcome a few people who'd love to say a deep thank you to you. Here they are. Thank you.